Nvidia's mainstream RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti graphics cards have been officially revealed. Let's take a look at their specifications, gaming performance, release dates and prices. The RTX 4090 delivered an outstanding 70% performance increase over its previous generation. Will we see a similar uplift with the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti? Let's find out right after this quick sponsored message. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Now back to our topic. First, let's examine the RTX 4060 Ti. It comes with 8GB and 16GB memory configurations with a 160W TGP. The 8GB 4060 Ti starts at $399 and will be available in stores on May 24th. The 16GB model costs $100 more at $499 and will launch later in July. I would like to point out that this marks the second generation in a row where a 60-class GPU comes with more memory than a 70-class one. Would you pick a 16GB RTX 4060 Ti over a 12GB RTX 4070? Let me know in the comments. In terms of performance, the RTX 4060 Ti appears underwhelming. It offers only a mild performance improvement compared to the 3060 Ti. Bear in mind that these are Nvidia's marketing slides, so the results are likely cherry-picked to showcase the 4060 Ti in the best light possible. I am disregarding the results with frame generation enabled because they don't accurately represent the GPU's performance. As for the pure rasterization performance without DLSS enabled, I anticipate less impressive results in independent reviews next week. My expectation is that the 4060 Ti will perform about on par with the RTX 3070 on average. This is disappointing, especially considering the $399 price tag and the fact that 8GB of memory is an outdated standard, not suitable for playing the latest AAA games on ultra-quality graphics preset, even at 1080p resolution in 2023. The 8GB 4060 Ti may be a good option for gamers who prioritize power efficiency and don't play the latest AAA games. However, I don't recommend this graphics card to an average user. The 16GB model at $499 is far too expensive in my opinion. The prices must be significantly reduced to change my mind. Let's now move on to the RTX 4060. It comes with just 8GB of memory, which looks rather inadequate next to the 12GB RTX 3060, a significant step backwards. However, it does feature impressive power efficiency with a 115W TGP and only 110W consumed on average while gaming. That is substantial compared to the 170W on the RTX 3060. Judging by the performance chart, the RTX 4060 offers about the same performance increase as the RTX 3060 does over the RTX 2060, which is underwhelming to say the least. The memory downgrade from 12GB to 8GB doesn't help either. The RTX 4060 prices start at $299 and it will be available in stores in July. For the same reasons I mentioned previously, I don't recommend the RTX 4060 to an average user. 8GB is just not sufficient to enjoy some of the latest AAA games in 2023. I have a detailed video explaining this, so check it out after this one if you are interested to learn more. However, I will reevaluate my opinion if the price is reduced. $250 seems like a reasonable price for such a graphics card with 8GB of memory. I believe this soon to be released RTX 4060 should have been named the 4050 Ti. The 4060 Ti should have been simply called the 4060 
and the already launched RTX 4070 should have received the moniker of 4060 Ti. But it is what it is. Nvidia continues to resist, lowering the prices of their poorly selling graphics cards from the RTX 40 series. The company seems to prefer producing fewer units rather than reducing the price. However, if poor sales continue, Nvidia will have no choice but to lower the prices, so you might want to think twice before clicking that buy it now button. I am curious to see what you think about all this. Let's have a chat in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to reward it with a like and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.